And with artificial intelligence, we're really on the cusp of making this huge difference. We wondered if we could translate what had been done on a 12-lead electrocardiogram to a single-lead electrocardiogram from a wearable watch. To train a network takes a lot of data, and it takes a lot of computing power. But once it's trained, you have a math equation you can run on a smartphone. The lead scientist who really conceived of the idea and did the technical work was Dr. Zaki Atia. He's an electrical engineer and artificial intelligence scientist. When he first came to Mayo Clinic, he scrubbed into procedures with me. We've created an algorithm that can take any ECG and predict a patient's having a low ejection fraction. To allow us to use that AI model on Apple Watch ECGs, we had to develop a special app that will allow us to collect data safely from patients, but they can upload their own data in a secure way, and only then we ran our AI models on it. We created it in a very efficient way so they can spend more time with their patients, talking to them, listening to them, and treating them. Healthcare is ultimately a very human profession. It's about one person helping another. And these technological tools will only succeed if they help that process.